Hello guys, in this video I'll be analyzing and looking at DNA, autosomal DNA of a Scythian from Ukraine. And I was not expecting what I saw. In fact, uh, I thought I got the wrong sample and I'm going to show you the results. And uh, maybe you help me shed some light on this in the comments. So this is his predicted appearance with my Nashakot tool, which I developed to predict appearance based on raw DNA. Uh, it predicted him to have brown eyes, uh, Greek nose, which is kind of like a Roman Greek kind of... Uh, I don't know how to describe it, just a bulging aquiline nose and black hair. And here is his genotype in some of the ge genetic variations implicated in uh, eye color. So you can see why he got such a dark eye color prediction. It's because he did not have any derived alleles in HERC2, which is the main gene when it comes to eye color. Now, according to his genotype in DRD2, this individual was not a no-go learner and he had an increased risk of schizophrenia compared to, you know, European people who tend to be no-go learners and tend to have a genotype that's protective uh, against schizophrenia. So he just had like a typical, typical genotype for everybody else who is not European. He was heterozygous in the warrior gene, which means he had one vowel and one met allele. And he actually had the sociopath gene, which is another word for derived OXTR. Uh, it's not very typical for Europeans, it's more so typical for East Asians and people uh, who are of East Eurasian ancestry. Based on his genotype in ACT1, he had a lower risk of cannabis-induced psychosis, which to me is very interesting. Uh, it's interesting because Scythians and Iranic people in general were among the first people to actually smoke uh, cannabis recreationally. Uh, he did not have derived EDAR, which is a gene implicated in East Asian facial features. So this guy did not have any East Asian facial features. Uh, he had a super high risk of Crohn's disease. In fact, I'm afraid that he might have actually had the illness. He also had a pretty decently high uh, score for Parkinson's disease. Once again, he might have had it. He also had a very high score for bipolar, which I can't even imagine how much that would suck, having bipolar disorder in the Iron Age. He had a pretty average score for schizophrenia and for type 2 diabetes. And thankfully, he had a very low score for type 1 diabetes, so he probably did not have type 1 diabetes. And here is his GED match results. Now, this is the really surprising part. Look at West Asian. He only has 4.8% West Asian. That's like 3% less than me. Uh, and I'm Russian. I'm not even an Iranic. I'm not even a Scythian. So I was surprised by this. I was like, what? Did I get the wrong sample? Did I download some uh, fake sample or something? So uh, <laughs> this is very surprising. This is... Uh, a big deal. In Eurogene's K13 Oracle, he is closest to East Germans and South Poles. What? East Germans in the steppe? In the Iron Age? What? That's right, and a two-way Oracle, he can be modeled as a mixture of Poles and like Spanish people. When I saw this, I just basically thought I straight up downloaded some bullshit sample. There is no way that's a Scythian. Well, guess what? It is a Scythian. I looked it up on uh, G25 database and it is a Scythian and it's closest to like Polish people and Czechs and Germans. That's crazy. Th this really goes to show you how diverse these Scythians were. I mean, they ranged from people like Tajiks to people like Germans. Here is his result with the Harappa world. Closest single populations with Harappa world. Mixed mode population sharing with Harappa world. Here is his Eurogene's K36 results. What's completely funny to me is the lack of, like, North Caucasus or South Central Asia, you know, typical Iranic components. And instead, like, Finoscandi and an East Central Euro and North Atlantic. That's crazy to me. Like, this person was a part of the Iranic culture, I guess, but genetically he was like a normal Central European. And this is his map of relation based on those uh, K36 results. I made several videos on my channel, like, mocking Polish people who LARP as Scythians, but, like, maybe there is some truth to the LARP, because this Scythian literally resembled uh, Polish people and Germans. And here is his map of relation based on G25 results. Now guys, you can download his DNA in 23andMe format by following the link in the description. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.